Hi everyone, welcome to Edu Cup. Today we are with a new video from Grade 7 Science. This is Unit 13 Atmosphere. I have divided this lesson into two parts. Our first now we are discussing the layers first one. of atmosphere. What you can see when you look at the sky. If in the afternoon you will see the clouds or the blue sky. If it is in the night time, you will see stars, planets and moon. You see all these objects to the atmosphere, but you cannot see the atmosphere. Atmosphere is a thin layer of gases that surrounded the earth. It spreads up nearly 700 kilometers from the earth's surface. In grade 6, you have learned that gases have mass. The weight of the gas above us make a pressure on us and all things around us. This pressure is known as atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure is measured in millibars to forecast the weather. The height of the certain place from the sea level is known as altitude. According to the altitude, the pressure and the temperature change in different layers of the atmosphere. Based on this difference, the atmosphere is divided into five layers. The five layers of atmosphere spread out from the Earth's surface respectively. They are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Now you can see layers of atmosphere here and how it is spread from the Earth's surface respectively. The first layer is troposphere. This is the lowest layer of atmosphere. Near the equator, it spreads up to about 15 km from the sea level. But near the poles, the height of the troposphere is about 8 km. Nearly 75% of air in atmosphere is in the troposphere. Most of the water vapors and dust particles are found in this layer. All the weather changes take place in troposphere. Helicopters, parachutes and aeroplanes travel through this layer. Next one is stratosphere. This layer is 15 to 50 km high above from the sea level. The air is dry as there is very little water vapors in this layer. There are no storms or turbulences in stratosphere. Therefore, jets fly to this layer. The ozone layer lies in the stratosphere. This is special layer which prevents the ultraviolet rays from the sun failing on the earth. The cumulonimbus closer to the stratosphere take the shape of an ampere. The reason for this shape is blowing wind in one direction. Rain with the thundering and lightning can be expected after forming these types of clouds. This is cumulonimbus cloud shaped as an envelope. Next layer is mesosphere. Now you can see the clouds formed in mesosphere here. Mesosphere extend from 50 to 80 km up from the sea level. This is the coldest layer among the five layers of atmosphere. In this layer, water vapors get frozen into ice clouds. When the sun sets, the rays fall on these clouds and you can see these clouds during at the night time. Next layer is thermosphere. Thermosphere lies from 80 to 120 kilometers up from the sea level. The air particles in this layer absorb the sun rays so that the temperature in this layer is very high. International Space Station is situated in this layer. Both the special sceneries called Aurora Borealis and Aurora Australis occur in the thermosphere. Aurora Borealis can be seen near the northern pole and Aurora Australis can be seen 
near the southern fall. Now you can see Aurora Boralis here. Next layer is exosphere. The thinnest layer in the atmosphere is the exosphere. This layer is 120 km high from the sea level. There is no certain border between the exosphere and the space. There's an activity. You have to build up a model of layers in atmosphere. You need a four sheets, pair of scissors, a drawing pin, and picture of Earth. Let's see what you have to do in here. Cut a big circle from A4 sheet in the uh, maximum size. Cut another circle with radius 2 cm less than big circle. Cut 3 more circles and each circle should be have radius 2 cm less than the other circle. Place the picture on the earth on the smallest circle and write the word stratosphere on it. Keep the circles on the big circle and fix them together using drawing pin as shown in this figure. Write the names of the layers on the circle. So our next subtopic is difference of temperature and pressure in layers of the atmosphere. We live in troposphere. What happened when the temperature and the pressure when you go up the troposphere? This table shows you altitude and well average temperature and average atmospheric pressure in some cities in Sri Lanka. You can see the table. Actually, this is a weather report in some cities in Sri Lanka. According to this table, it is clear that when the altitude is increased, the temperature and the pressure are decreased. This figure shows you some changes of temperature in different layers according to the height from the sea level. Temperature decreases with the increasing height up to the troposphere. This is how it's happened. The land and the sea get the heated from the sun's heat. So the temperature near to the land is high. The temperature of the troposphere gradually decreases away from the land. Temperature increases in the troposphere when go up. The reason the presence of the ozone layer which absorbs the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Then troposphere gets heated and temperature increases. That's what we have to learn as the first part of the atmosphere lesson. Let's meet with the next second video from same lesson. Thank you.